Hi, I'm Nathan Jurabicious and I'm an artist. I'm going to be showing you how I create characters and worlds using blobs of watercolour with pencil over the top. I'm going to show you a few examples now of what I've done in the past and how this can unlock your creativity. So this piece here was all done with watercolour. I had no idea what the image was going to be until I started turning it around and spinning it upside down and eventually I decided that the blobs of colour would go this way and over the top I drew pencil and created this image. The same method happened here as well. At first, this image was upside down. I had no idea what I was going to do. But after spinning it around various ways, I came to the conclusion that it was going to be a little character hiding under a pile of flowers. So, what we're going to be doing now is working on some exercises where I show you blobs of watercolour with pencil over the top, and this will help you create characters and worlds and unlock your creativity. So I'm going to be using Winsor & Newton watercolour inks. I find that for me, these are a great use of uh, colour because they're uh, very, very wet, they're loose and they let you be free. So here we go. I have no idea what I'm doing right now. I'm just blowing bits of ink and splashing bits of colour around. Who knows what this will be? Now this is just a blob right now. It's a blob of inspiration. I have no idea if it's going to be a horse or a cow or maybe it's going to be a landscape. I'm not really sure which direction this is going to be, but hmm, it feels like it's starting to turn into, in my brain, maybe a character that's reclining. It feels like this could be the legs and maybe this is the head. Or it could be a landscape, and these are trees, and this is like a, a field. Okay, so let's start drawing in pencil. In my mind, I'm thinking that this looks like a head, and this looks like a body, like jumping. It kind of looks a little bit like maybe a, like a lion's head, maybe? I can see that there's a, there's a head forming here, there's a, there's a mouth. Maybe it's some sort of weird, like, dragon creature. Uh, yes, okay. This is definitely taking shape. I love the way the blob is allowing me to form this sort of lion, sort of dog type creature. Okay. And then these are the arms here. Maybe some claws. A little stomach. Maybe this is its tail. And there you go. From a simple blob, I've now got a strange looking lion that's leaping towards you. Okay, well, let's have another go then. This time I'm going to start off with the yellow. I love this yellow. It's called yellow, uh, or it's actually called sunshine yellow. Brilliant for those rainy days. Hmm. Well, there are many obvious things I'm already looking at that I know that these blobs could be. I'm not going to do the obvious just yet. Let me turn this around and investigate what this might be, what sort of world and characters this could turn into. Mm, right now it looks, it's looking like flowers. Mm. A little, oh, I like, the, I like the, the direction this is going here. I'm actually gonna go with the obvious. To me, these look like giant oversized flowers. I can see this already. Now, the characters in this are these little bees here. These look like little, little round bees. Oh 
almost forgot the little stingers at the end of the bees. Well, there you go. Here's a very simple environment, some flowers and some cute bees. Okay, let's try one more time. I'm going to be using red. Okay, now again, this could go any direction. I'm not seeing a lot right now, but the inspiration is slowly forming here. Mm, okay. I could see, this actually looks a little bit like fish. I could see some fish happening here with maybe some fins. Or this could actually be people wearing hats and they're kind of walking down a street. I'm gonna try both on the same page and let's just see what happens. Let me start getting into the pencil. Mm, so this looks like a little hand here. It's like a cold winter's day, so they're all wearing long coats here. And here's another person, also wearing a hat. They're walking backwards. They've got a feather in their hat. So you can have two characters. Now, I'm gonna actually turn this thing into something else. I'm going to turn this into a fish. So, okay, so with this one here, I'm going to break the image up and turn it into a giant fish. It looks like a fish with big spikes on it. So let's do that. I think it's one of those deep sea underwater fish which has those lights on their heads. Well, there you go. That's another one done. This exercise helps you unlock your creativity in a variety of ways, but the best way is by doing it through unexpected results. If you throw down watercolour and throw down bits of junk or whatever you want to do onto a piece of paper and you look at it, it takes away your expectations of what the image is going to be. You can turn that image into any character and into any universe you want to. It's a great way of you being free and allowing the page to dictate what you're gonna turn it into without having any idea about what it's going to be originally. I recommend it for anyone who wants to expand their creative mind in the field of character design and also world building. Well, I hope you enjoyed the exercises I showed you today. Please subscribe to this channel. If you want to learn more about me and my process in creating characters and their worlds, you can check out my Domestica course in the link below.